No matter how old you might be, gardening is a lot of fun, so it's great to see kids developing a love of gardening at a young age. And today on You Can Grow It, Garden Master Jim Duthie takes us to a Treasure Valley Elementary School's Garden Club, where kids are not only learning about plants and how to care for them, they're also growing a healthy and fun hobby that they probably will enjoy for the rest of their lives. It's 4 o'clock and school has just ended for the day. But the fun is just beginning for these students because this is when their school garden club meets. And today, they're doing something special. Gardening isn't always about what you plant. It's about having fun while you're planting, like these kids are learning at Chief Joseph Elementary School in Meridian, planting succulents. Succulents are a good thing for beginning gardeners to start with since they don't require very much care and use very little water. The students chose their own containers, and some of them even painted the containers themselves. Each student contributed a little of their own money towards the project, along with help from the school PTO. Edwards Greenhouses donated much of the planting materials, and 36th Street Garden Center in Boise generously donated a few trays of succulent plants. Emily Anglin of 36th Street Garden Center even came along to help show the kids how to plant them. So what's really neat about these is they require less, less water. So they kind of work like a camel. They hold their moisture in their, in their leaves here and then they just use it as needed. The kids line up to get some gravel and horticultural charcoal to line the bottom of their containers. If you accidentally water them too much, this will kind of help so that it can sit there and drain a little bit because you don't want to overwater your succulents. Then they each select a couple of succulents for their planters, echeveria, jade plants, aloe vera, and others. After a few tips on how to design and plant their containers, the planting and the fun begins. And with some decorative rocks and figurines, the kids' own creativity and imaginations begin to run wild. This is my pig that I, um, my, I chose uh -huh. to put in my succulent. It looked like the pig was like laying down in the sand. Mm -hmm. And then the flowers can be like, like the pigs in like a like <laughs> meadow or something. And then like, he's in like a different land where there's like weird um, plants and stuff. I was thinking, since I love the nature, I just was thinking like, a big pond around with like lots of rocks on it. After all, blue is Heidi's favorite color, and she even nestled a little deer among the plants. And being part of the garden club is important to her. For me, I just think it's very important because um, it can like let kids learn more about like plants and how to plant them, because some kids don't know how to plant and they can just uh, plant some. This is a great group of kids. We have anywhere from second grade to fifth grade. Each year they have to apply to join, to join it. They have to write an essay as to why they should be in the garden club. And then they decide what we're going to put in the garden. And during the summer we donate some of the vegetables to the food bank. So it kind of shows them to, the, the importance of growing the food and sharing with everybody. And the final creations are really living works of art. From the containers, to the plants, to the design and decorating. Sharing and working together, these kids have also learned another important thing about gardening. You can grow it! And so can you, just like the Garden Club here at Chief Joseph Elementary School. For Idaho's News Channel 7, and you can grow it, I'm Jim Duthie. I'm so glad they finally zoomed in on the shirt because I'm like, what does their shirt say? I see that. something about lettuce and beet. That's cute. <laughs> well, those succulent planters will be displayed at the school's art walk coming up in just a few weeks. And a larger succulent planter will be raffled off at that time. And the funds raised will go toward a special bench that's going to be installed in the school garden. Love